My name is Adam. My faith has Catholic roots. I remember reading the Psalms. I remember praying the Rosary. But my parents never went to church, so neither did I. When I became the age that boys could become altar boys, I wanted to do it. So after school one day, I attended orientation. When I walked into the church, the priest looked right at me with a disgusted face and said, what are you doing here? I'm guessing he reacted that way because my family didn't attend mass. I was devastated. I just wanted to run away. But I didn't. For years, I would get up early and ride my bike to church on Sundays that I served. But still, my parents never went. I was alone. When I reached high school aged, I stopped serving. If I had some encouragement, I would have stuck with it. Later, I met my wife who was raised in the Lutheran church. We had two daughters and had them both baptized. But in all honesty, church never really struck a chord with me. Maybe it was the pews, maybe it was the style of music, maybe the pastor, maybe all of it. Whatever the reason, I wasn't compelled to dig into my faith or to understand God more deeply. I was breathing, but didn't feel alive. Life was sleep, eat, work, repeat. And something happened that I did not expect. My wife asked for a divorce. I was emotionally devastated. Sleep, eat, work, repeat. Sleep, eat, work, repeat. I was still a little vulnerable when I met my current wife. Besides all the emotional highs and excitement that come along with meeting a new person, meeting her introduced me to a different type of faith. She was used to going to big, non-denominational churches in Texas. So when I took her to the church I had been going to, she didn't like it. So she asked if we could try Ginghamsburg. We sat in the back on a weekend I didn't have my kids. It was drastically different than anything I was used to, and I loved it. The next weekend we had my girls, so we took them, and they loved it too. I finally had a church that I thoroughly enjoyed. In the meantime, the custody battle for my girls was heating up. While I was searching for answers, my divorce lawyer and I started talking about faith. He also attended Gingersburg Church. He invited me to the Gingersburg men's group that meets on Wednesday mornings. I hesitated because I didn't know anybody. I hadn't read the Bible. I had flashbacks to the priest shaking his head at me in disapproval. But I took a leap of faith and went. Unlike my middle school experience, I was welcomed with open arms, encouraged to come back, to learn more, and learn I sure have. For the first time in my life, we attend church every Sunday. For the first time in my life, I try and read my Bible every day. And also, for the first time ever, my girls are engaged in church and loving it. My oldest daughter is really growing closer to God. We talk about the Bible and we even went on our first mission trip a couple months ago. I am coming alive. God is giving me peace. That God has a plan even when I can't see it. He is teaching me to be positive, to not be bitter. And I find myself thirsty for more. I have a long way to go, but I am excited to see how far I've come.